As we listen to a little jazz music, you're listening to, uh, you're looking to at a car number 19. This too is a very rare car. This one came from Kyoto, Japan. It was built here in the United States, shipped in kit form around the horn on a ship, and then it was uh, put together in Japan and used there for a good number of years. It has a single truck underneath it, and as you can see, these are the motorman's controls. This is the master controller, which allowed the operation of the car. The other large crank is a brake. This car required two men to operate it, one to work the controls and the other to operate the brakes, so you'd have efficient braking power. Now let's step up here and take a look inside the Kyoto car. The sign hanging in the middle of the car is a wanted poster. This is what it looks like. These people are wanted in Japan, so if you see them, please call the Kyoto Police Department or the Sheriff of Riverside County. Like most of the streetcars in the United States, the Kyoto Japan car also had trolley car ads on the top, uh, and the sash up there. Those rings were standees, and you could hold on to them. They were made out of leather, and they are about a hundred and some years old. Again, there is the wanted poster up there, and as you can see down in here, the car, everybody sat on a comfortable, uh, real comfortable uh, seating inside here, padded and comfortable. There's also a unique thing on this car, the windows, during World War II, as a blackout, uh, a small shade of rice paper was built in front of these, and uh, it could black out the car's lighted interior so that planes wouldn't spot it. Once again, this is the oldest car at the museum, besides the Descanso there, next to the Descanso. This is Japan car number 15 from Kyoto, Japan. Number 19. 